What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Bad Gas Productions. As you can see behind me, we have a classic Mini Cooper. Join me in this episode. We're going to go through this car and get it ready for the racetrack. Okay, folks, so the goal with this car is to get it ready for the racetrack. And it's been sitting for about a year and a half, not really getting a lot of attention. So we're going to start today's video off in Rod's garage, getting this thing ready to go and uh, getting it home. Hopefully it won't be an epic fail. Hey guys, so we're working on the surprise, not the Firebird tonight, we're working on my Mini. It's uh, been sitting here at Rod's place for the last, what, four months, something like that? Yep, we're Rod's place. Fun. Yeah, there's a burnout there at one time. Yeah, there <laughs> we go. So long and short, it hasn't run for a while and uh, it was flooded last time it was trailered here. So we're gonna try to get it running tonight so we can get it ready for the track. So, I'm just going to pan over here. Oh, isn't that pretty? Look at that paint. It's dirty. It is dirty, yeah. It's been sitting in the garage for a while. Just so you know, this isn't your average Mini. Yeah, that sticker might have a little say, a little something about it. Didn't it? Walk into the hoister. There we go. Isn't she beautiful? The rear flares are off it right now. Let's do a little walk around. The AGM charger on it, trying to get the battery to come back to life. I think that's the problem. We, uh, we, uh, or not us, but someone tried to run it with low voltage and I think we flooded her out. But anyhow, complete fiberglass, one piece front end. Oh, we'll do a full video on it later, but. And, uh, oh, there's, there's the pretty part. Isn't it pretty? Anyway, doing some plugage right now. Everybody's going, damn, that's a lot of green. Yep, that's a lot of green. Green paint too. <laughs> what is it Diamond always says? Chrome don't get you home? Chrome don't get you home. This is uh, exactly that. Green better. Although it does work good when it works. Yes. Yes, when it works, it turns on quite nicely. It's definitely faster than Diamond's Mustang. <laughs> we'll make these claims when we get to the track. No, we'll make them before the track. You know he's going to throw a bottle in the trunk or something, right? No, <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, a little update. As you can see, Jay found a wet plug. Actually, Mark, oh. Jay's holding the Jay, wet plug Jay, that I found. We're gonna have to dry them out. All plugs are wet. Woo. So since Jay has uh, basically heated all those up with a torch and burned the junk out of them, he's using a little bit of fine sandpaper there just to clean up the electrodes. And I'm gonna step in the car there and give it a little turnover and just let any fluid that's in it burn out. Not the kind of burn out. Keep going. I thought I'd seen that thing stuck in. All right, that's good. All right, little update. We got the spark plugs all dried out and put back in, and we're gonna give it a test fire and see what happens. Woo! Oh, give her some gas. 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 Give
gas, buddy. Hold it, hold it, flood, hold it wide open. All right, guys, so total failure tonight. I think uh, it flooded again. We're gonna try getting some new plugs. Flood all plugs out so we can air out, and uh, we'll try again tomorrow with new plugs. Hey, folks, so this is a continuation of where we left off with uh, starting the mini at Rod's house, which was an epic failure and took a couple days. Uh, once we got that sorted out, I was able to drive it home. Uh, fun little drive getting it here, and uh, I brought it in, gave it a quick bath, and dried it off, and a, a little uh, polish, and well, here she is. I'm gonna show it to you. Now this Mini, I've had for about four years, uh, and it's gone through a number of different phases since, since I got it, from paint, to some decals, to suspension and motor work, and I still have a few things left to do. But uh, generally, I am driving it and uh, improving as I go with like most of the cars that I own. So you're gonna see this car come up in a special series, more on that soon. But uh, for today, I'll just uh, give you a walk around, a little tour, and show you uh, my Mini. Let's go. Okay, folks, in case you can't tell, this car isn't very stock. Let's take a couple minutes and I'll go through it and show you what we have going on here. So this classic Mini Cooper, he is sporting a Honda K-Series swap. Let's have a look. All right, guys, so the engine in this is a K20 from a Civic Si. This engine's been upgraded with a camshaft, intake, throttle body, custom header, and a custom stainless three inch exhaust. The wheels are a set of mini lights, uh, 13s with street slicks. The ECU is Honda, wiring by K-tuned. Brakes are Willwood all the way around. And the suspension is a set of QA1 coilovers. All of this is mounted in with a set of custom subframes from a company called Minitech. Some know them as super fast minis. So the interior has a bit of dress up bits in it here and there. The shifter is by K-Tuned along with a set of their cables. Gauges are by Autometer. You can see the Willwood uh, pedal set up there. Inside there's also a roll cage. And the paint. The stunning paint here was done by Wayne Bishop at Wayne's Hot Rods and Customs from Halifax, Nova Scotia. If you're looking for paint, they're the guys to see. Thanks for watching folks. I hope you enjoy my little mini as much as I do. It is an absolute blast. Clearly I'm a bigger guy. Uh, so there is actually more room in there than one might think, but I do think people get a bit of a chuckle when I pull into a car show and I get out cause you know, I'm uh, well, a quarter of the size of that car by, by all means. But listen, it's totally fun. It's uh, super fast and it's definitely faster than Fox body Mustangs. If you're new to the channel, thank you very much for watching and tuning in. And if you're not new, thank you for sticking with us and watching all our shows and our goofiness. We super appreciate it. Please like these videos and comments are, I mean, leave some comments. We love to interact with you. 
Share the content with your friends, especially if you think they'll like it and hopefully they'll watch too. Have a great one, folks. What does my buddy Corey say? Hands on the wheel and pedal down.